Hi, I'm the Smoking Elk, and today we are answering a question, can we cook pizza on the Buy Man Buy? Let's find out. So a question that I've been asked quite a lot since I've had my buy from the buy man, this beast here, um, is uh, obviously it's great for grilling, uh, large amounts of meat, vegetables, whatever you want to grill. It's great for rotisserie cooking. Um, I get asked a lot, is it any good for pizza? Um, honest answer, I don't know, but today we're going to find out. So this is the buy, and this is my plan. <coughs> Fire in here. I'm going to get some embers. I'm going to move the embers and the coals. From here to here, pizza stone. We're gonna get the pizza stone nice and hot. And then we're also gonna put some coals on here. So my thinking is, because you want your base to cook at the same time as your toppings and your cheese to melt, um, you need a even kind of temperature in here. The same temperature as the stone and a nice hot temperature on top to melt the cheese and, cook and sort your toppings out. Um, so we're gonna hit it with heat from below Heat from above, I'm hoping in here it's going to be hot enough to cook a nice good pizza. Like I said, I've never tried it. We're experimenting, we're going to see how it goes. We've got four pizza doughs uh, ready to go. Um, so I'm going to get the fire lit and we're going to crack on. A quick shout out to Brywood UK. This is the Seckle Boss wood that we're going to be burning. This stuff is absolutely rock solid. Really heavy, really dense. It burns really hot and you get some really good coals, really good embers. So yeah, we're going to be using this stuff for the fire, for the coals. So a quick update, uh, the fire's been burning for just over half an hour. Um, and you can see down here, if you can see because of the sunlight, we're starting to get a good bed of coals and embers. So what we're going to do with those is we're just going to start scraping these under the pizza stone and start warming that pizza stone up. So the pizza stone is coming up to temperature nicely. It's about 220 Celsius at the minute. Uh, slight change of plan. Um, I'm gonna light a chimney of charcoal um, to stick on top of here, just to speed things up a bit. And we're gonna continue to use this uh, to top it up as and when we need uh, under the stone and above. But we're gonna chuck a chimney load of charcoal on top of here and we're hoping that's going to create a lovely hot oven effect in there and cook us a decent pizza we shall see first pizza test number one going in So, test number one, cheese nice and melted, nice and crisp, let's have a look underneath, I'll tell you what, for the first one, I think that's pretty damn good. So the first one was a success with just the cheese, now we've got some spicy chorizo, so we're going to see how it copes with the toppings. So in we go, the stone is at 320 now. And up here under the coal is 400 degrees. So that heat is radiating down onto the top of the pizza while the stone is cooking it from underneath. It's actually working better than I expected. Three and a half minutes, and that is what we've got. Nice, melty cheese, 
Chorizo cooked perfectly. Crust. Let's take a look. Under there. Can you see that? Looking good. So again, another winner. We haven't touched the coals. We haven't done anything since the last pizza. I am happy with that. So there we go. The question was asked, can you cook pizza on the braai? And I think um, we've shown that that is a resounding yes. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. I've certainly enjoyed eating the pizza. I'm stuffed on pizza. Um, but the braai um, absolutely nailed it. Uh, we knocked out four pizzas in about half an hour. Um, embers below the pizza stone, coals above the, uh, the pizza. Um, nice crispy base, melted cheese, toppings, not, didn't burn the toppings or anything, actually really, really good pizza. So that just adds another string to the bow of versatility on the Bry Man Bry. Um, it really is a beast. Um, everything I've cooked on this has been absolutely fantastic. Um, the weather's been a bit crap lately um, over the last six months, so probably not used it as much as I would have liked. Um, but today, summer shining, albeit it was very windy, the summer shining, um, so I got out. We've lit the boy and we've enjoyed cooking up some pizza. And this is the fruits of our labour. Happy days.